I would like to take this time to thank my subscribers for tuning in. Those who are new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button so that you can get further info and updates. As you can see, we're going to be talking about Let Us Change the Games or Kids Play. Criminal activities in Trinidad and Tobago is controversial topics on the two islands. Gang murders and murders rose every year from 1999 to 2008. Approximately 529 people were murdered in 2008, the highest number ever. In January 2018, Trinidad recorded 40 killings in the month. Nearly 500 murders per year were recorded in 2017. In 2018 and 2019, the number of murders have crossed 500 according to the official police statistics, with 2019 recording the second highest number of murders in the country history. This trend has continued into the current year during the month of January up to February 13, 2020, the country recorded over 67 murders. So as you can see people, the murders just keep rising. The youths are caught up in the wrong games. They're dealing up in gang activities. They're choosing to live the gang life. This is why I say let us change the games or kids play. Which means, parents, we have to show the kids a, a different way. Let's bring back the old ways of when kids used to play tag of war, tug of war, and kids used to play on the swing. I think Trinidad need to have more developments of building parks and building activities that kids could go to after school and have fun. Instead of them just going back to the, the streets and seeing people hanging out on the block because they ain't have no park to go to. So people just hanging out and de dealing up in gang activities and guns and gangsters leading these kids astray by putting a gun in their hand because nobody putting a park anywhere close to them. Nobody put, put putting nothing in place for these kids to enjoy themselves. So they're thinking the street life is all the action and all the fun. So this is why I'm saying in Trinidad, we need to change the games. We need to build places, centers, and stuff for kids to have activities to do, to keep them busy. Like the old saying, the devil finds work for idle hands. So guess what? We have to fix that. We have to make sure that these kids always have something to do. They could play tug of war in the park. They could play on the swings. All different type of activities you could build for these kids to do stuff. Movie theaters, rebuild them, make them look so beautiful that the kids want to go there. We have to get them off for hanging out on the street. Corners. Because the corners only bring, guess what? Drugs, gangs and all these other stuff. We're supposed to build a country in a way that these kids have activities. They play sports, soccer football these things maybe these kids could be the next dwight york maybe they could play for manchester united maybe they, they could go to france and play with these other these other islands in in soccer or as we call it football family parents need to take more time and take the initiative to have fun with your kids go places with their kids but the government need to build these places so that these parents could take their kids. And when we start doing these things, we will see a change in the population and a change in the communities. Because guess what? Children will say, you know what? I'd rather go and hang out and play in the park and have fun. It's plenty of fun day. Then you want to sit down on the block and say, smoking weed and dealing up with all kind of gang activities that will lead to the early destruction. We need to care for the kids like the children are the future. We need to build places to secure their safety and also help in developing other skills that they can have. Because going to school is one thing, but it's also good to build up all their skills, make them rounded. We need to build, each community need to have a community center. Each community need to have a community park so that these kids could go and play. Not just a park with nothing in it. You just have a, a, a two basketball court and call it a park. This is what is a park. If you look at in American parks, you see so much things that you can't believe. Trinidad has never seen these things. 
they have slides they have ropes to swing on they have all type of stuff that to keep these kids wanting to go to the park and have fun and not hanging out on the streets we need to invest the money into the right things for this country instead of taking the money and using it in all type of other gimmicks and uh, and, and games out here invest it in the right things this is what you want you to be safe but you're not building the place in a way that it could secure the safety we need guess what it's 2020 trinidad need to evolve into something bigger and better we cannot be living for decade after decade with the same environment and then people saying always oh, have no job it have a lot of work to be done in trinidad they can employ so many people if they just start developing the country because guess what it takes someone to build that park so you could hire people to build that park it's also going to help the parent or whoever is hired he's going to learn a skill to put down to build up swings and all this stuff and also it's going to help the kids to get their mind clear of drugs and gang activities and they can enjoy life as a kid until they grow up into adult and start working and doing better where is where where is the parents that goes to the park with a kid we don't see that no more when you see a kid playing on the street it's just a kid these kids need a push in life parents take your kids to the we need to have a park where we could take them and push them on the swing and then also you could teach them more going to school and keep driving them with that push bring back that brotherly love to the country where kids could be happy with each other instead of they're looking to fight each other and i want to do this one this and no the love need to be brought back to trinidad because right now it feel like it's a ghost town when it comes to love anymore. These kids just feel like they, they can't see eye tight. They want to war each other. No. We have to bring back that love to the communities the, and the population and, the, and also the whole country. We need to start somewhere. These are the things that parliament need to talk about. These are the things with government officials need to sit down at the desk and and bring up ideas and talk about the blueprint of how we could structure this country in the right way so that this country could be navigated in the right direction these children of the country need love caring and opportunities i believe we need to change the games the kids play Let's build a park. Like, subscribe, and share for the hot topics.